A special conference will hear tomorrow how, for millions of women across the world, pregnancy can be a death sentence. The Family Planning Summit, which is backed by the government here and supported by Bill and Melinda Gates, aims to raise funds for contraceptives in some of the world's poorest nations. It's estimated more than 200 million women don't have access to contraception or information about it. The summit aims to get better access to 120 million of those women by 2020. It says it's crucial because every two minutes a woman dies from complications during childbirth. Our Africa correspondent Rohit Katri reports now from Swaziland on the moves to increase access to voluntary family planning. The story of Matsunyeni village is in many ways the story of the planet. Burdened by a growing population, many without access to contraception. For Subsele, falling pregnant aged 15 was not a moment of joy, but of shock and then despair. I feel very sad. And uh, in a way that I cannot explain. I feel like I, I had to commit suicide and there's one my friend who told me not to commit suicide. It's not the end of life. You wanted to kill yourself? Yes. Why? Because I was pregnant. Her brother, a teacher used to seeing pupils fall pregnant, became enraged at his sister. I, I was so angry. I, I couldn't accept it and uh, I couldn't make, come in terms with it to the extent that I decided even to chase her away to the Indigo, without knowing where she was going. The local hospital is bursting with new mothers. Contraception is available here, but not the education to go with it. Into a world of seven billion people today, Patience was born. An unplanned birth, a frightened mother. Nearby, pregnant girls looking for help. One we met wearing her school uniform, a hospital appointment between classes. There is no doubt that contraception has become a political taboo subject, the so-called Cinderella of global health. And the doctors here really feel that the consequence of that silence is felt too strongly here on the wards of Swaziland's hospitals. Tomorrow's summit has been described as an immoral attempt at population control. Others say it's absolutely necessary. Education is uh, key, especially within this community, because we have seen that they lack education, even though the, the contraceptives are there. Some will oppose the message of tomorrow's summit, but for this generation, Governments seem to have embraced it like they rarely have before. Rohit Katra, ITV News, Swaziland.